Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into our ISO Bus VT. Here's our ISO Bus VT. This is where we'll be able to pick and choose um, what we want to view that is on our ISO. So for instance, we have our wireless data server that is on the planner for our Connect Mobile. We have our Starfire receiver that is in our ISO bus. This would be the same concept that we would find um, rate controllers and anything else that we would have plugged in line. So let's go through and let's add a ISO bus VT to a home page. We'll go to our menu, applications, layout manager. So as you see now, we only have two active run pages. One's going to be our guidance and one's going to be our planner. We'll go down to all run pages. As you see, I have a slew of unused items down here now. We're going to go ahead and add new. And we'll call this one ISO 1. We'll go down, we'll add a module. Applications. Scroll down to our ISO bus VT. And here, this is where you'll have your selections of different ISO applications you can add to your home screen. Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and do our wireless data server. So we'll add our wireless data server here. We will save. Now our ISO 1 is in our all run pages. It is unused. We'll go up to our active set. We will add a run page. We will thumb down until we find our ISO 1 that we just made. We will hit OK. That now adds this to our active run page list. We will hit save. Now we're at three run pages. And then from here we can go from our normal guidance page, planner page, and our ISO page or we can hit up here in the left hand corner and now we're able to toggle around without arrowing over. And that will conclude our run setup in our ISO bus VT.